morning everyone um i've not uh, done many videos this summer i have to apologize oops the sun's behind me um due to the heat and one or two viruses that i caught late on in the summer uh i've not been doing anything but uh, i have told you this before so this last month um the canicos season has started, but I've not been able to, uh, sorry, I keep looking down to watch where I'm putting my feet. Um, I've not been able to do anything, I've not been able to get out, because I've not been able to run, because I've had a bad knee. In fact, the other knee started uh, in sympathy the other day. So, especially uh, this last uh, week, um, because we're now on Monday so last week I've been working on uh, trying to fix my knee um, because I couldn't quite understand why my legs have been hurting when I've not been doing anything so I've had to have a think about this and I've realized not only have I not been going out on my long walks because dogs have known having short walks because they've not been able to stand the heat um, I've not been doing no running, but I've not been doing my yoga and my leg maintenance. So I've not been rolling my legs, I've not been doing my uh, specific exercises for preventing injury and to keep things mobile and supple. So uh, this is why my legs are hurting. Right, just let me see where all this lot's got to. Right, I think uh, everybody is... Uh, here. Rex is there. Flynn's there. Badger. And the two pointers are over here. So. Whoops. Bad camera work there. Just caught my finger on something. And put it back to normal. Otherwise, it's not a very good quality when you zoom in. I can hear the helicopter out. Anyway, so I've been working on my legs and discovered that I've got very tight calves, very tight um, thighs, um, hamstrings and, oh, what's the ones at the front? I normally know all my muscles. But anyway, um, and this is what's causing the pain in my knees because all the other muscles are tight and they're pulling on the where, the, where the muscles attach to the knee. So I know, I know I should be keeping up with all these things, but when you're hot and not feeling well and stuff, you don't. So tonight is um, the first Canicross training session for me. Um, Canicross season started um, a couple of weeks ago and we've i've missed the canny uh cross midlands weekend and this weekend the tri dog i've missed my off marathon um i couldn't have done it if i'd have wanted to do it uh, even if i'd have walked it because i couldn't uh, hardly uh, um i could definitely couldn't walk downhill with this knee anyway um so tonight is the first training session for me uh, with Canicross Midlands, we're doing um, a basic after injury session because there's one or two that's got injuries. So we're doing a walk 1k, run 1k, walk 1k. And I'm taking Kira because she is a nice steady puller. Um, she's not going to want to go pelting off. Well, hopefully. So I've been working on the legs and uh, doing the odd little jog on our morning walks but uh, well jog i wouldn't say jog i would say about three or four steps jogging and then had to stop um but uh, i've worked on my legs and uh, i think they're just about ready there's a slight ache in the side of my knee but i'm getting there so hopefully we'll be back to uh, all uh, the activities for the winter and the dogs are loving the cooler weather 
Aren't you? You're charging around all over the place. Got your badge. Right, better find a Kira. Kira! Kira! She's gone. I've let her go too far. This is talking. She uh, disappeared off here to, to play with a pug yesterday. Nowhere to be seen. This is the only path in, in this wood that I let her off at. And I normally, before she gets further down near this bottom end, I normally shout her back. And see, she's not come back. I have to go and find her. She'll not be too far away, but she switches her ears off. She's a right naughty girl sometimes. Come here, Kira. Kira. She's got a nose down. Look. Kira, come here. Sit. Good girl. Are right, you going to have your lead on now? Yes? You're going to have that lead on? You be a good girl. Here comes Freya, finally. Where you been? But you've been a long way away. Right, I'm going to put this lead on. So you can go around the ponds, otherwise you'd be gone, won't you? It's the wrong time of year, all the pheasants are out, aren't they? Now, down here is the hill that I have not been able to walk down at all. I've had to limp down it for about a month. Um, and Kira, I've had to make Kira walk behind me and not pull. But she's not doing, are you? Heel. Walk behind me and heel. Good girl. It, um, I normally run down this hill, normally, when we come out. So not to be able to walk down it is uh, bad, isn't it, really? But, so you have to be careful where you're treading, because there's loads of roots on this path. And if you're not watching where you're going, like this one, you uh, trip. See, at the minute, I'm walking down this hill, and there's a slight ache just in the side of my knee which is a vast improvement to a sharp stabbing pain oh the yoga massage and foam rolling has been uh, working what are we doing are we all stalking each other hey oh we're picking on flinny are we See the difference in them? Now it's cooler. Oh, bad you're not. No, no sticks. You can't have that one. That one's too big. It is. What, well, he's trying for a different one? Oh, that's, that's not a stick. That's a piece of wood. Or is it a piece of rubber? Could be anything in these woods. Couldn't it, darling? Are we going to the pond today? Come on, then. Let's go to the pond. Oops. This is the great big whacking Kira. This is the big stick he was try trying to drag. Come on, Freya. Good girl. Let's go, Kira. Heel now, and don't pull me down this hill. Hey, heel. Us, we're not walking. We're not. We're going nowhere if you don't heal. Right, good girl. Right, off we go. You're wet, bud. You're wet as well, Rex. You've been in. Come on, Rexy. Go on then. There's the other one. There they come. You're not going in that water. Not with me attached, you're not. Go on then. Oops. Sorry about this jerky footage, but somebody wants to join in with everybody else, don't you? Hey. You're running tonight, so you don't have to uh, worry. You're going to get some exercise.
in the water again. Budge, budge. Hey. Come on then, let's go to the next one. Pray, pray, what you found? What's in there? Is it a bird? Or is it a squirrel? Hey? Can't be anything interesting in there. Pray, pray. Oh, there is. Is there something moving? You see? Is there something moving? Is it a mouse? Is it a mouse? Well, it's not a bird. I thought I'd see it. it. Must be a mouse. Got two of them at it now. Definitely must be a mouse. You get all pickled. Oh, Badger's on the job now. Badger wants to know what's going off. Hey, Badge. Come on, Kira. Out you come. I'm leaving you for air if you're not coming. Are you coming? She says, I think it might be around the other side, Mum. I need to find that mouse. You are silly girl. You'll not catch it, it'll be long gone. Look, you get prickled. I'll have to pick all them pickles out of you again. You are silly. Come on. Come on, let's go. Silly, but you can't have two sticks. You can't carry two. Pick one. That one. Right, go on then. <coughs> this is what the cooler weather does to you. Drives them silly. Oh, we are definitely going to have to get fit and start doing the canny cross again, aren't we, dogs? Hey. Yes, we are. <laughs> And the pup is an idiot. <laughs> idiot pup. Right. So, we're back from our morning walk and um, I've got something to show you. Well, I was interrupted, my daughter came in. Um, I was saying, I've got something to show you. We're about to go to the beach for the week. Um, so, I've ordered the dogs some towels but they're like coats but made out of towel so I can uh, dry them off easier and they don't get um, the place that we're stopping in all covered in sand and mud and Freya if you don't get down off of that counter you're going to get smacked get down good girl she can smell food the rice cooker's out and I haven't washed it from last night so I better get that washed and put away or she's going to have a nose in it every five minutes so let's go and show you uh, these uh, towels, in fact it might be easier if I show you the photos that I took of the dogs in the towels last night. Here we are, pink for the girls, purple, whoops, you see that, purple for the boys, goes over the head, that goes over the head, and then let me find, we have, I like little straps that go underneath so you can fasten fasten them right photos are next Well, there weren't that great photos because it was a bit dark in the front room. So, uh, uh, but you can give an idea of what they like. And we now I've got to find all the stuff for tonight. Seeing as we're running at about seven o'clock, it's going to be dark for most of it. So, I've got my lights. This one's really good. This one goes on my chest. Um, uh, if I can fathom that. Hold on. That bit goes on my back, and that bit goes on my chest. And I've charged it up, ready for tonight. There we are, whoops. Turn it that way. 
That's better. Uh, so it's quite bright. So now I've just got to find uh, the Canicross kit. I need to find uh, Kira's harness, my running uh, belt, and a reflective jacket. So that's next on the um, list of things I've got to do today. So I'm brain starting to go. I'm getting tired already. But we have been on a really long walk this morning. Well, right, I'm in the gym. So the Canicross bag's in here. I've uh, been uh, tidying the gym out and giving it a good clean out because it's not been used all summer. That's Flynn barking. He wants to come out of his cage. That means he must have finished his uh, breakfast. Uh, let me uh, go and find the bag and see if I can find the kit. And uh, after that, I will tell you about the plans for uh, the winter. Well, the Canicross bag, my nice Canicross Midlands bag, is looking a bit messy. Uh, but I think this one, well, this is good. That's Kira's. I ain't got to search very far, have I? So I want that. I'm sure, that's Kira's. I need the. This is the poo bag holder and you put your bags once you've picked up the poo in there there was an air freshener in but I left it in the van and it got a very damp so no air freshener at the minute, I have to get a new one um, which seems to be attached to my belt so there we are one belt that's that so all I need now is her um, for reflective jacket because uh, it might be a bit cold tonight and she's very mardy when it gets cold um, I think that is in another bag because it went on holiday with us the other day, other one of the holidays I went on I think I need to tidy this out I don't know why there's a scarf in there must have been cold to the last place I went right these are the two um harnesses that the boys had, Badger and Rex had, when there was one and two um, uh, or did I buy them when there was two and three, but anyway when they first started canny crossing these were made to measure, I think they're from Snow Baby something like that I can't read that, um, you probably can see it better than me, I ain't got my glasses on So, I think Flynn wore the smaller one, which is this one, blue with red on, was Rex's. But he's grown, and he's a lot longer than he was. He's, a, he's, he's in length, he's longer than Rex now, so this was Badger's. So I think I'm going to keep this one on top, and the next time we go out running with Flynn, we'll try him this one on. Yeah, there's... Kira's reflective jacket, you've seen her in this loads of times, this is what she wears so I can see her in the woods so she don't uh, disappear off. Freya's worn it as well when I need to keep an eye on her. So how did you get in here Flynn? Hey, eh? How did you get into the, into the gym? He says because you left the gate open mum. Right, that's the pile. These I can put away. You, young man, will be back in the other room. You know you're not allowed in the gym. You get it messy, don't you? Don't look at me like that, eh? Hey, poor boy. This is all what mummy I wanted to come and see you. Oh, I did. You rascal, aren't you? So, uh, the plans for the winter. Um, so we've cleaned out all the gym out and um, I've started a new training program. Um, I'm on a diet as well. I've started a diet um, today. Well, I had a little bit of practice last week, but it's officially started properly today. And um, I want to lose about a stone. Um, and I'm going to make a decided effort to sort out my Achilles. Um, I have a ongoing Achilles problem, um, but it's not 
actually anything to do with the Achilles. It's higher up in my calf. Uh, and when it tightens up, it tightens my Achilles and that's where you get the pain. Um, so we are starting back to running and exercising very gradual. We've got a new we, I'm saying we, um, meaning me. Um, if I can involve my husband, I will. I want him to lose a bit of weight as well. But because uh, he's put what, the weight he lost uh, when he I got him coming running with me, um, he's put back on. So I've got an exercise regime, especially for um, mobility and trying to sort out this uh, calf and knee and um, a rolling regime if um, all that you you lot that's into running will know about foam rollers and that don't know about uh, foam rollers um, it helps um, relax the muscles and bring more blood to the, the muscles when you roll that's a quick description not probably ever so accurate but the nearest I can um, uh, describe to people that don't know anything about it um, like I said the gym is already uh, sorted out this big thing up here is my treadmill that will be coming down um, onto the floor so I can use it shortly for those of you that watch both my channels um, the garden is uh, winding down a bit and um, there's not much more left to harvest. Uh, hopefully when I come back off my holidays all the tomatoes will be ripe and the tunnel cover will be coming off. Um, we might, we haven't had a frost here yet but we might do while I'm on holiday. Um, so all the dahlias and stuff will be uh, being put into storage. So uh, that's for Babette and um, Fifty Shades of Green, Simon. That watch both of my channels uh, because I've not put anything on my other channel um, for the last week or so or a couple of weeks because I've been struggling with this knee um, and it's had uh, all my time has been taken up with uh, trying to sort that out. Hey, I should be able to get myself running again and the dogs are going crazy at the minute they're charging around all over everywhere now it's cooled down uh, they're a lot happier so hopefully I'll be doing all the except for the first one all the canny cross midland series races this year um i'm not planning on doing much of anything else um most years i do lots and lots of different races but uh, money wise um they do get a bit expensive and i want to save up for certain things um i'm really after a new conservatory door patio door the wheels on the bottom have gone and it's very heavy and the dogs are having a new regime i'm trying to keep my kitchen clean yeah. with five dogs when the rains start that's near impossible and little flinny is lay crying because i won't let him in the gym <laughs> he's behind the stair gate <laughs> even though there's no stairs of course it's just to, to stop him getting in my gym um so this part of the conservatory is my gym and the last bit of the conservatory is more like a utility room and um, it's going to be sorted out so that we come in the back door from walks marks will fix me my hot and cold tap i've got a cold out there but it's not very nice for the dogs to be sprayed down with cold water is it when they come back off a walk so we've, he's having a, putting me a mixed tap on so I can um, wash the dogs down. And then they're having the beds put into the utility room and the new towels. We have quite a few um, different coats and towels and different things, but the new towels were for holiday, but they will be coming in useful uh, over the winter. This is the second set. We have already got a set, um, but it's, they just get through them that much when we have rainy weeks that um, it's nice to have extra an extra set. So they will be spending the morning in the utility room um, drying off 
um, why I go and walk my mum's dogs and <clears throat> do any other jobs. Hopefully, when I get back and let them out, they will be nice and dry and they won't be shaking mud all over my kitchen. Um, because we've been been having a, a bit of a change around in the kitchen. I've had a new cupboard. Um, I don't know whether you saw it behind me on uh, for all my cookery books. So I've got one or two cookery books put on it, but I've got to get all that sorted. And um, I want to decorate the kitchen. And it's not much point in painting it if I'm going to let the dogs splatter mud all over it, am I? So this is the plan for the up and coming weeks. Um, so hopefully there'll be more videos and I'll be in a happier frame of mind instead of absolutely dying in all this heat that we've had. Um, I don't do well in the heat. So um, I will probably come back to life now we're having some cooler weather. Right, better stop rambling on. This video is going to be quite long. Um, so I'll see you next time. Bye.